Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see the step-by-step instruction of how to remove the public beta or develop a beta profile of iOS 16.1 installed in your iPhone and move to the stable version of iOS 16.1. The same applies in future also, like if you have installed the beta profile or develop a beta profile in your iPhone or iPad, you can follow the same instructions to move from the beta version to the stable version. Apple did release plenty of bug fixes and stability improvements and new features of course with the iOS 16.1 so it is recommended to move from the beta to the stable release. In settings general when you navigate to VPN and device management you can see the configuration profile section shows the iOS 16 beta software profile. This is the developer beta profile that I have installed some time ago and I was installing you know the regular beta updates to see what are the changes that comes in the iOS 16.1 you know throughout the beta program. So if you were doing the same in your iPhone or iPad then this is how you can remove your public beta profile or developer beta profile and then you have to let the phone to restart once and after the Apple logo you will be welcomed to the home screen of your iPhone. From there you have to navigate back to settings general and then navigate to software update and make sure you have connected to a stable good speed Wi-Fi connection so that there will not be any packet loss or corrupt problem you know file corrupt problem and then it will show you at the bottom in one line iOS 16.1 also available you are already running the 16.1 beta version that's why at the top it shows the 16.1 is the current software update and tap on that link at the bottom and you will be seeing the full size of IPSW needs to be downloaded as you were using the beta version. You will not get just the changes. So the full IPSW of the 16.1 will be downloaded and when you click on learn more, you can see all the changes that were you know released during the beta version rollout and what are the bug fixes that actually comes to the iOS 16.1, the stable version. So here I have 34% battery left. So it is important to connect the charging cable to make sure that my iPhone has 50% minimum battery power. Only then it will start to install. When I click on download and install, it asks me whether I want to download it from mobile data or should not use mobile data make sure you're using a good stable wi-fi connection if your mobile data is good you know there is no packet loss or anything if you have a very good data connectivity then you can of course do it through the mobile data as the size of the ipsw file is around 5 gb i personally recommend to do the update via wi-fi and when you navigate back and come you know back to the software update section you can see that the uh, error message unable to check update will appear you don't have to do any troubleshooting steps here as suggested in one of our episode simply tap on try again and then you know within a few seconds on few attempts you will see that the update requested and preparing update status will be changed in the software update section so this is how you can complete the installation and move from beta program to the stable version of iOS 16.1 for any iPhone iPad and Mac related doubts don't forget to search our channel and don't forget to subscribe our channel channel if you like to get more useful tips and tricks. Thank you and have a wonderful day.